Yeah, you're all in. Touche. <laughs> God, I haven't ridden a two-wheeler for ages. You get one. If you get one like that, you can put it inside. Yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so good afternoon, pot pickers. It's uh, <clears throat> Wednesday afternoon in a wet, cold London. It's always wet and cold. <laughs> um, so today I've decided I'm going to do a quick review of uh, one of Mike Burroughs' um, recumbent bikes. Um, it's called the Rat Racer uh, GT, which is uh, short for Grand Tourer. And um, he made this bike in 2015 and it's the machine that Stuart was riding um, when we did a training ride in Regent's Park with the WOW and Stuart was on a two-wheeled recumbent and because a lot of guys have asked um, <coughs> whether it was an M5 uh, German recumbent or what have you and so I've decided to do a little piece just to show you around the bike and Mike Burrows is a famous uh, bike builder, uh, designer and engineer and um, he built and designed Chris Boardman's Lotus bike, which was used in the uh, Barcelona Olympics. And uh, don't touch, don't touch it. But your mum should be telling you that. <clears throat> so he built and designed uh, Chris Boardman's uh, Lotus bike, and uh, he makes recumbents for touring, racing recumbents, and uh, cargo bikes as well. And I'll show you around one of his cargo bikes while I'm here at the same time. <clears throat> okay, so to the Rat Racer GT. So Mike came up with this design in uh, 2015 and he actually built this one in 2015 but he had, I think he had so many bikes on the go or his own personal machines that he, ne he used it for a little bit and then stopped using it and uh, so he sold it to my mate Stuart <coughs> recently maybe a year ago so Stuart bought this thing and he's been using it ever since which is like the perfect it's the perfect Audax bike so he uses it a lot for super long distance uh, traveling really um, he did London, Edinburgh, London on it. I think he's done Parry. He may have done Parry, Brest Parry on it. I'm not sure. I'd have to ask him. Uh, it weighs eight and a half kilograms, which is not bad for a recumbent. When he built the frame for it, he made a, a mould out of foam. And then he wrapped uh, the carbon fibre over the foam and then used a special tool to dig out all of the foam, which he didn't really need after once it's set. Um, I'll get Stuart to do a talk about um, how it was built and um, he'll let you know how that process was done. But yeah, so this is the Rat Racer SL in all its glory. Sitting next to the, uh, the WOW in all its glory. On a minute, <coughs> they're pretty much the same. These two bikes, as you can see there, and drums, brakes, front and rear. 
single sided on the rear on the SL. <coughs> hey Gutek, how are you? Hey, you good? <laughs> yeah, good man. Single sided on the front of the 8 Freight. Single sided on the front of the Rat Catcher, uh, sorry, not SL, GT. Gutex in the house. <laughs> He's going to do a cameo. Yeah, quite cool. So we've got two of Mike's bikes. And the reason I'm uh, doing a sort of Mike Burroughs machine vlog uh, is because next week I'm hoping to go up to his legendary workshop in the countryside. Uh, it's up in Norwich. Apparently he's got a new secret project on the go which I'm really keen to, to see. So that should be interesting as well. The funny thing is I've used an 8 Freight three times for moving house now. Uh, it took quite a few trips but um, you can pretty much get everything on there. Um, great bikes and really good sort of cargo pod thing here but you can put a big wicker basket in and chuck things in or a plastic box waterproof box uh, there's a company called ABD uh, Hire or something in London they use them for uh, carrying projectors around to for office functions and presentations and stuff like that so yeah all cool let's just go now and ask Stuart about the way that this was vacuum molded this thing so I think that'd be quite interesting to find out. Hi Stuart. So could you tell us a bit about the vacuum foamy process? Basically you get a large lump of high density foam. Yeah. You carve it to the shape you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you wrap it in glue yeah. impregnated carbon fibre fabric. Okay. You uh, then you wrap it in sticky tape to squeeze the excess glue out. Right. And then when it's gone hard, yeah. you basically scrape the foam from out the inside okay. of it. Yeah. So I think I mean Mike says it's pretty straightforward. Well, I think it's a skill well, thing. It's not a technical thing. You, okay. You, anybody could do it. Yeah. You could make your own bicycle out yeah. of carbon fiber, but yeah. because it's not the technology. Yeah. It's the it's just the, it's a skill. I think that yeah. you get better at as you do it. So a few attempts and Start then... Start with something simple. Yeah, like a Moses basket or something. <laughs> and then work from there. Yeah, you're all in. Touché. God, I haven't ridden a two-wheeler for ages. You get one. If you get one like that, you can put it inside. Yeah, it's really cool. It's brilliant. This is going to be dynamic <laughs> when I fall off. Oh, Lord. So, it might be a bit wobbly, but I've got the GoPro attached to the handlebars of the Rat Racer GT and this is the first time in a long time that I've actually ridden <laughs> ridden a two-wheeled recumbent so uh, this is uh, quite interesting actually first impression it's, it's really comfortable it actually reminds me of the Rat Catcher I used to have but ever so slightly lower a lot lighter than the Rat Catcher bike so you never know. Brilliant, look at that. First time ever on this bike. I'm doing loads of tricky manoeuvres. Trigger. Trigger gear changer. It's a Shimano on the on the right index finger there. So you just click one trigger up and the other one with your thumb. The other one with your thumb down. Absolutely perfect. 
it. See, it's so supportive. It's like wafer thin at the back of the seat. And you think, oh god, that's not going to be very comfy. And it's absolutely amazing. It might to make me one. Well, I'm going to see him anyway soon, so I'll have a lot of more money. Oh, well, that was a lovely ride. <sighs> what a beautiful bike. That was thoroughly enjoyable. Really, really enjoyed that. It just feels solid. I mean, the steering is is slightly twitchy, which um, took a while to get used to, but I got <laughs> used to that pretty quickly. Um, but overall, a lovely machine, and he's only ever made one, and this is it. I'd definitely give this eight out of 10, maybe eight and a half out of 10, actually. Very, very nice. Uh, yeah, so we've got Martin here, who's a fan of the channel. We've just bumped into. Um, he's walking past the shop, saw us, and uh, decided to come and say hello. And now here, here is the bright red. Uh, yeah, Belmobile. We can see him, see in real. Yeah, real it's, it's the Wow, the Belgian. Um, it's an old one. It's not as snazzy inside as their new, new models. But uh, well, this is like. No, this How is. How stiff is that? Um, even the lid's quite stiff. Yeah, it's this. Quite, it's quite light, isn't it? This I've had it six years, and I think it was made about ten years ago. Mm. So I bought it second hand, and I've had it for six years. Yeah, it's a bit grotty. It just needs a clean. But it's Kevlar and carbon. It's got the, Kev the Kevlar's really tough, isn't it? Yeah. Tough and strong. And this is uh, the nose. I've bought a new nose cone recently, which is completely oh. carbon. Yeah. So that's super, super thin and super light, not as strong as the old Kevlar. So this is just held on by a couple of yeah, straps. Yeah, yeah, just on the hooks inside. And it's got a bit of ventilation. Oh yeah, yeah. A bit of ventilation behind. Yeah, you can pop this up, and then that, that gap there will oh, open. It can, then yeah. the roof's up here somewhere, and it sucks the air up through the reversing hole in the floor. Yeah. And then it sort of vents out the back there. Very smart. Yeah, Very it's smart it's lovely to ride. Um, it's ridiculously fast. I mean, you pedal a bit and stop pedaling, and you're cruising at the same speed for a long time. Well, nice very, to meet you. Nice Fantastic. To meet you. And I'll see time. you again, no doubt. I